Hi guys, welcome back to Joyfully Social. All right, so you've got all these t-shirt designs and sweatshirt designs and you are ready to go. You've created your back end in Printful, except for you have no idea how to get your t-shirt design from Printful to Squarespace. It's not as hard as you might think and I'm gonna teach you today. So make sure that you have your Printful Shop uh, tab open and your website tab open at the same time because we are gonna probably be toggling between the two. Um, if you haven't already done so, you're going to want to go set up a store in Printful. We're not going to cover that in this video, but it's super easy. You just go to Printful.com, open up your account. It'll walk you through the steps. And during the setup process, it will ask you to link to your Squarespace account. But for this video, we're just going to cover how to create those products in Printful and link them into your store on Squarespace. Okay. So here we are on Squarespace. So we are on our main dashboard in our website and we're gonna go to pages. And I'm gonna go to shop. And then here you will see I have my shop and all of the wonderful things. And here is where we would edit all of the things. And this is where we're going to go to Printful. We're going to upload a new item and it's going to show up over here and we'll be able to edit it. Go over to your Printful store and we're going to add a new product. So yours is going to look a little different because I already have stores, but you're going to want to click on stores. It will take you to the store that you just created and you're going to scroll down to whichever store you are looking for and you're going to click add product. So once you're here, you can see a list of all the different products that you can customize and put on your website. They've added some cute new ones, so be sure to check all those out. Okay, but for right now, we are going to go to, you can either go to men's or women. I'm just going to hit t-shirts. What I found is that the Bella canvas is my favorite. I've ordered a few different ones. Um, it's a really soft material um, and you can get the Heather quality, which is like a two tone and it's even a little bit more soft. Um, and that is going to be under unisex staple t-shirt Bella canvas. Um, and it's this one and this will show up under the woman's as well. Just make sure it's the unisex stable t-shirt Bella canvas. If that's the one you want to order. If it's not, you can go through and you can read the reviews and see all the different things. So here you will see drop in design here. So you can either do embroidery or you can do DTG printing. And then here I'm going to upload my design. Actually, before I do that, because I know my design is white lettering. It's not going to show up on here. So I'm going to just click the black t-shirt. I'm going to unclick white because I'm only going to offer this in black for right now. And then here you'll see all of my previous files that I can upload if I, if I want to. But right now I'm just going to upload a new file. All right. Once it's uploaded, we're going to click apply. Hopping in here real quick, just to say, if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can be notified as soon as we upload more tips, tricks, hacks, and really awesome things for your business. This shirt's a little different in that the wording is off to the side, but if you wanted your centered, you, would, you could use this grid here and it would help you center it. Now, one thing I'd like to mention, if you're new to printing things on t-shirts, make sure it's not like so high up towards the collar and also make sure it's not too far down. You really got to make sure that it's in a good spot. Okay. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to, this is where you can choose all your colors. So right now I have the black Heather. That's the softer material. Um, there's all different colors that you can choose from. If you want to offer it, it'll show if you click on the color, it will show you what it's going to look like in the various colors. And I do like the navy, so I'm going to leave the navy. And 
I think I'll choose that color as well. And I think that's all for now. And then here you're going to click all of your sizes that you want to offer. Now it will say down here that this is unavailable and that's okay. It won't, it just, it's basically just telling you that it will not push that variant through to your store. So don't worry about it. Printful is very, very insightful when it comes to those types of things. You don't have to do much. Um, it will alert you when things are out of stock and things like that. And you can make the appropriate adjustments. So here we're going to proceed to mark mockups. And then this is going to give you all of the different mockups that you can choose from. Um, so this is going to be your main image. And then what you can do is you can go to additional and then it'll allow you to choose additional um, choices. Okay, For that, I'm good now. Now, if you get to your store and you're like, I don't like this picture after all, you can remove it from from the back end of your store easier than you can remove it from Printful. So just choose what you think you will like, then you can customize it once you're at the store or once you're in your store. So we're gonna to proceed to details. And here's where you can write up all your information. Um, on some products, Printful will write them for you and then you can choose. I always usually like the playful descriptions. And then I'll change the name depending on what the product is. So this is Prey. So this is really important. If you have more than one store in your Squarespace uh, website, please make sure that you are um, pushing it through to the right store. Now, here's the thing. If you push it through to the wrong store, again, easier to change it in the back end of Squarespace than it is the back end of Printful. And I will show you how to do that. So actually, because of that, I'm going to push it through to the wrong store so that I can show you later. So we will push it through to the resources store for now. Okay, so here, here is where you're going to set your price. Um, a really fast, easy way to do this instead of going one by one, especially if you have lots of variants. Um, it, let's say you have five colors of one t-shirt. You're going to be sitting here all day going in one by one. We don't want to do that. We're just going to set how much do you want to make off of this shirt? Um, I'd like to make $10. So this will that will set my price if you want to make more. Actually... I'm good with 12. We'll say $12. Okay. Everything looks good. Now, just an FYI, Printfill will change your prices up here. It'll go up a little bit depending on how large of the shirt is, just because obviously they're using more material. So it's going to cost totally up to you whether you want to upcharge your clients for that. Or if you want to keep it all one price, then you would go in and fix that. Okay. So now we're going to submit to the store. So this is going to generate our print files all the way to Squarespace. Um, I use a, another company called Placeit, P-L-A-C-E-I-T, which is a mock-up generator where I can get better pictures of the products to put on the website. Squares, our Printful is getting a little bit better. They have more... Um, they have more options than they used to, but still not to my standards. So I will usually push this through the store. And then when I have time, I'll go into place it and make up a, a few more mock-ups um, before I push it out to the public, just so that I have everything set and ready to go um, the way I want it to look. And I'll show you where you would uh, do that once we're in the back end. Okay, so this says it's synced now. So let's go over to our store. Okay, so it's not going to be in my full shop because if you remember, I pushed it through to the wrong shop purposely. So let me go over here and we're going to go over to resources store. And you will see that it showed up right here. Okay, but I don't want it here. That was a mistake. So I'm going to click these three dots and I'm going to click move. And now it's going to let me move it to wherever I want. And we want to go shop for joy and move product. 
And here it is. Uh, it always shows up at the bottom. So if you want, you can drag it wherever you want. This has been a little glitchy lately as of, what are we, March 28th, 2023. So in order to get it to the top without wanting to punch your computer 18 times, just go ahead and send it to the top. And it will automatically send that picture to the top. So now you can see that it's right here. Okay. And then when you click on it, you'll see that it'll change over to colors. If you want to add your own pictures, you will click on the three dots and you will click edit. And here it will allow you to change the pictures, rearrange the pictures, um, however you want to do that. So these are all the dark colors. This is all the black color. This is the navy. So I would want to move this over here just so that it's all cohesive. And then if you wanted to add anything else, if you make a mock-up somewhere else, you can always add more right here. And then you would just click Save, which is up here. <clears throat> And that's it. Now you have your new item in the shop. You can click on it and it will take you to what it looks like when someone clicks on it. And it's all right there. Everything pushes through from you. You don't have to do anything with the colors. It will automatically do a drop down. Same thing with the sizes and they can move through the pictures. It's pretty awesome. Okay guys, good luck and happy selling. I hope that this video helped you get set up and you're feeling really good about going out and marketing your new e-commerce store. There are so many tools out there to help the business owner today. However, we do understand as social media managers and strategists that even though it is something that you can do on your own, sometimes we just don't have the time for it. And that's where we can come in to help you. So if you need further assistance with your social media marketing and strategy, please reach out. There's a link in the comments and we would love to connect with you. Till next time, guys, have an awesome day.